Hey there, Marvin again with another Reamaze tutorial. This time we're going to be talking about workflows. I think this is a very important topic as you know we approach the holiday season and we hope everyone is gearing up for a lot of customer support questions. So we think workflows is going to be a great help in alleviating a lot of your customer support strain and making sure you're getting back to customers very quickly on certain issues um, by using an automated system that's right inside your Reamaze account. Now let's go ahead and start from the beginning. So right now we're going to we're going to be in the inbox, okay? And what you want to do is you want to go over to settings and then workflows. <clears throat> so workflows are kind of automated actions. So as customers write in, if their subject line matches a certain thing, or if the message body contains certain words, you can run automated actions, or we call them customizable macros. And this makes your workflow or process a lot faster because you don't have to manually respond to every single one. As you know, customers write in, if you have a workflow set up for that process, this workflow will run. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new one. We have a lot of test ones in here, but let's go ahead and create a new one. And we'll call this one Awesome Holiday Workflow. Okay. And you'll make sure you want to you want to set up some triggers. So what triggers this workflow? So automatically trigger this workflow when a conversation matches certain conditions. So make sure you, you check this box. Okay. When, let's say when the message subject contains the words mm, shipping rates. I'm sure you, a lot of you will have questions about that. Now you can add another condition or you can add an or condition. So make sure you think this through. Now, if you add an and condition, let's say message body contains the word, the words international shipping, this workflow will only trigger when the subject line has the words shipping rates and when the message body contains the words ship, international shipping. Now, if you don't want this, you, you wanna set up an or condition. So when the message subject contains mm, international shipping, okay? Now you can add an and condition. Let's say message body contains mm, rates, the word rates, okay? Now we've set this up. So automation user, you can run the workflows workflow as a staff user. So in automatically triggered workflows, certain commands require a user. For example, if the workflow adds an internal note, the selected user will be the author of the internal note. So I want to work this run this workflow as Chris. Okay. Now, now that we've defined our triggers, we want to make sure we pick our commands. So what do we do after the conversation has matched? Now we can do a respond to conversation. We'll say, you can find out more about our shipping rates on our knowledge base. Okay, at, uh, let's just, we'll just do uh, example.com. Okay, slash, slash shipping. Okay, we'll do add another command. Now, Olivia is, for example, our in-house shipping guru. So we'll assign the conversation to Olivia. Okay, you can add another command. Um, you can tag the conversation as questions about shipping. Okay, now what's gonna happen is when the, cu when the customer writes in, and if the subject line contains the words shipping rates or international shipping, and the message body contains the word rates we're going to run the workflow as chris okay so we have a command here that say that says that if someone's going to respond to the conversation immediately so chris is going to be the one that's going to be replying but the conversation is going to be assigned to olivia and it's also going to be tagged with questions about shipping okay pretty complicated but once you think it through it's not too bad and let's go ahead and click create now we're going to test this. Okay, so we're going to test this awesome holiday workflow. Now you guys remember what we did. So let's go to our email account. Let's compose a new email. We'll send it to support at democentral.reamaze.com. Now remember the subject line needs to contain the word 
the words uh, shipping rates. So we'll say, what are your shipping rates? Okay, and then the message body needs to contain the word rates. So what about international rates? Okay, so we're gonna send this. Now, if you you want to create workflows when you have you know customers writing in about you know the same thing over and over again, you can use our response templates. Uh, but you know things pick up during the holidays, even that can become a bit manual, and we highly recommend setting up some workflows. Okay, so this is the old one. So I'm gonna just go ahead and archive this one. So this conversation that I just sent just came in. What are your shipping rates? Okay. And let's open that conversation. You can see that it's already assigned to Olivia, okay? And it's already tagged with questions about shipping. Okay, those are the commands. And the last command we did was respond as Chris. And Chris said, you can find out more about our shipping rates on our knowledge base at example.com slash shipping. So we pretty much just handled this conversation, right? The customer wrote in, you didn't even have to respond. You didn't have to read it. As long as you know that that the customer asked something about shipping, okay, and they want to know about rates. Now this workflow automatically ran, and you can even mark it as resolved um, in your workflow if you wanted to. So that's you know the basics of workflows, and you can get actually pretty fancy with you know how you want to set things up. So we have a thing now. If you go to our developer, okay, our developer page. You can see that you know we have you know the embedded knowledge uh, the embedded um, contact form. We have the basic shout box. Okay, we have the light box. We have all of this. And if you remember from my previous tutorial about which the widget builder, you can actually create custom form fields, right? So instead of just your first name, last name, your email address, and the and the message, you can actually create some some drop down fields. Now you can actually run workflows off of these as well. So let's say you go to next. We'll just keep this simple. Everything will just keep it default. Now here, there's going to be a field name if you remember that. So if you, let's say you just get rid of this, okay? Now you want to add a custom field. So we'll call this happiness level, okay? And it's going to be a drop down field. And we'll just say the values are happy, sad, angry. Okay, so now there's going to be a drop down field here, right? Now you can actually, you know, when customers write in, um, either through the, a form or the embedded shout box or the light box, you can actually run a workflow off of this. So, how do you do that? Let's go to next. So, let's say you've implemented this on your website. Now, back here, let's go to workflows again. And we're going to create a new one. We'll just call this custom field test. Okay, I'm going to trigger this when. Now here, this is going to be the, the, the selection that you want. Conversation custom form field. Okay, the field name, what was the field name? The field name, what we did in the widget builder was, um, let's go back, it was called happiness level. Okay. Happiness level contains happy, or let's go angry, okay? Because angry is is more important. You got to deal with those first. So happiness level contains angry. I'm gonna run it as uh, Matthias, and I'm gonna respond to the conversation. Sorry about the delay. We will take care of this for you ASAP. Something like that. Okay. So what happens now is when the customer writes in from this form, okay, and they pick their happiness level as angry, this workflow, this custom field test workflow is going to run, and Matthias is immediately going to reply and apologize about the delay because the customer's happiness level matched angry. So you, as you can see, workflows can be very flexible um, depending on how you've implemented ReMAs. We want to keep things flexible for you. So we encourage you to test this out. Make sure you create a few workflows 
see what works for you, what doesn't work, and we highly recommend setting some of those up before the holidays arrive. And if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to us at support at reamaze.com or meet directly at marvin at reamaze.com. Okay, thank you.